Today we're going to be talking about my three favorite lenses for the Canon Rebel T2i in 2024. The Canon Rebel T2i, also known as the 550D, is an 18 megapixel DSLR camera that was released in 2010 with an MSRP of $799. And at the time of the release, it was the best selling DSLR camera that Canon made. In fact, I was in camera sales when this camera was released and can attest to that fact. I sold dozens of them. Since then, and in the last 15 years, many things have changed technology-wise in terms of camera bodies. For example, we've gone to 40 megapixel or higher resolutions with 4K video capability, built-in image stabilization, and more. But lenses, in comparison, have remained more or less relatively constant technology-wise, and are, in my opinion, one of the best ways to really expand your capability with your current camera without having to spend $500 to $800 or more on a new camera body. If you've got the T2i body or similar, you may have the Canon 18-55 kit lens. That's awesome. I'm gonna go through my top three Canon branded compatible lenses with the Canon T2i. These lenses are some of the most affordably priced and easily attainable lenses as well, so the value is definitely there. Keep in mind that of course there are more expensive, more solidly built, more weatherproof lens options, but they come at a premium price compared to the three budget winners I'm talking about. Also, if you do decide to upgrade to a newer Canon EOS DSLR body in the future, these lenses will also be compatible, so you don't have to spend hundreds or thousands starting over with lenses. If you already have a Canon T2i body, leave a comment down below on what your favorite things to shoot are and how long you've been shooting with it. I'm very curious and would love to know. We're going to start with the widest angle and work out from there. First, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite shooting lenses, the Canon 24mm STM wide angle lens. This is a nifty little pancake designed ultralight super fast lens that pairs really well with the T2i body and has a current price of $129. There's an affiliate link down below in the comments section of the video if you're interested. What's this lens used for? Well, it's equivalent to a 38mm lens on a full frame, giving it a very pleasing lifelike effect, close to what the human eye would see when shooting. Apart from some blur and lack of sharpness on the outer edges, of course, which is common with a 24mm lens. What I've noticed with shooting this on the T2i is that live view slows AF focusing down a lot, so if you're shooting burst shots, would definitely recommend using the viewfinder, not live view. This lens offers some light macro capability with up close shooting within about six inches. I've loved macro shooting tiny figures and flowers. It really brings them to life and kind of gives them personality. Check out some of these pictures I took, which were about eight to 12 inches away from the subject. The Legos in the center are in focus and sharp, and the background, while just a short distance away, is out of focus, which really makes the images pop. The outer ring of the lens is the manual focus dial, and given its proximity in the far outer edge of the lens, makes it quite practical. The quality of the lens for the price and the fun shots you can get really make this 24mm lens a winner when paired with the T2i. I found myself using this little lens on a variety of bodies, and having such a small, compact lens can help you get into some really fun shooting. To sum it up, this is a great option for indoor shooting to enlarge the space, as well as architecture and some light macro or close-up work. My second pick is this, the Canon 50mm STM lens. This Canon 50mm 1.8 lens is a newer one to the lineup compared to the regular 50mm 1.8 prime lens. It's quite a bit faster than the original non-STM, it has less noise while focusing, and has an affordable price of around $149. It also adds a metal aluminum mount instead of plastic on the 50mm 1.82. I've used the Canon 50mm STM lens quite a bit since it was originally released. As you can see from the picture shot with the T2i and 50mm, it's done a great job. I particularly like the slightly out of focus background on this picture. You can get a full head and shoulders frame for portrait at a distance of about 5 feet. This is an excellent walk around lens that is a great portrait lens for shooting people's streets when you're out and about. Its equivalent focal length is about 80 millimeters on this APS-C T2i body. On a full frame, it would be the true 50 millimeter portrait lens. The step-through motor, which is the STM part of the lens nomenclature, to my knowledge will not engage with any T4i or older body. So the T2i unfortunately doesn't support the silent focusing mode that STM offers. But if you should upgrade bodies in the future, every new Canon APS-C body will. Didn't want to get too into the weeds, but wanted to clarify that. The f1.8 aperture on this lens is quite fast, offering not only a significant increase in light throughput, but it also creates the coveted bokeh effect for portraits, as I've described previously. And that's partially because it's got a 7-blade setup internally that helps create the out-of-focus, shallow depth of field that this lens is known for. This lens also has a super spectra coating, which eliminates ghosting and flare caused by lens surface reflections. I've shot this lens outdoors quite a bit, and at dusk with sunsets, and it's done a killer job. It handles the low light quite well with little greeniness. 
Again, I'll have some links down below for these very lenses in case any of them are of interest to you. Lastly, we've got the classic Canon 75-300mm to 300 millimeter 3 telephoto zoom lens. This lens seems to be everywhere, and was sold with the Rebel kits in optional two lens bundles forever since the Rebel XT. It's been around for a while without much change because it's just a solid lens. I just checked my sales history on this lens, in fact. And in the last five years, I have sold over 250 copies of this lens. I very rarely find defective copies of this lens, too. A lot of times the first things to go on lenses are autofocus, and the AF success rate in my testing of the 75-300 to is very high compared to other lenses. I'm looking at you, Canon 18-55. to Anyway, getting back to the specs of this lens, it's got a nice zoom, it's a bit soft on the very outer range, and because of its f-stop 4-5.6 to range, it needs quite a bit of light, especially on the outer edge of that zoom. But that being said, it's a great option for sports and outdoor shooting. I did some shooting with the T2i and 75 to 300 millimeter at my nephew's soccer game, and it took some great pics. The color accuracy of the T2i is great. The, the green really pops, and as you can see, there's very little motion blur, even though the soccer players are moving around a lot. It's also great for scenic vistas and showcasing the splendor of what our lovely world has to offer. It can also be quite effective for medium distances shooting close range. Check out a few of these shots taken with it in the T2i. Do you already have these lenses? Or are you looking for more options? I've got a few runners up. The first runner up would be the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. While this lens is very useful and I love using it, its price, which new is $299, made it just above the budget category. It's a great vlogging lens or option for filmmaking or for real estate or for really anything. The list goes on and on. There's some really cool applications for this lens. Also just missing the top three is the Canon 18 to 35 millimeter IS lens. This is a superb option if you're looking for one primary shooting lens that can handle a variety of work, as well as longer zoom up to 135 millimeters, which gives pretty good coverage up to about 20 to 25 feet away. Plus, the image stabilization helps out a lot as the T2i body is not stabilized. Helpful hint, utilizing a tripod with this lens can be very helpful, uh, as often when fully zoomed out, the focal area is quite small, and nominal handshake will move the focus point substantially. This lens is available refurbished in the just under $400 range currently, so still kind of spendy, but if you wanted a one-stop shop for a lens, that could be a great option for you. If you don't have a Rebel T2i, but you're interested, you can find them on eBay used in the $100 to $150 range for the body, depending on accessories. It's still a great camera to shoot with. In fact, it was my primary shooter for a number of years. Again, I do have links down below for new refurbished options through Amazon, but if you're more of a used type of buyer and you want to save even more money, understand. If you can find the right seller, eBay is a great choice of used camera gear, mainly given to sheer quantity and availability of a wide variety of products. Just check the seller's feedback first to ensure you have as good of an experience as possible. Thank you for watching, and happy shooting with your Canon T2i!